Hello everyone, in today's episode we're going to talk about how to upload an episode and how to schedule an episode on the Buzzsprout podcasting platform. Okay, in our last episode we talked about setting up a Buzzsprout account. So this tutorial is for those of you who already have an account and you're getting ready to upload your first or a new episode on the Buzzsprout platform. So this does not go into how to create or record or edit an episode, but how to upload the episode to Buzzsprout. So I have an episode ready to go and we're gonna walk through how to upload it into the system and make it live or to schedule it to go live in a future date. So right here, uh, right in the middle, you'll see bright green button, upload a new episode. So let's go ahead and click that. That's gonna bring you to this screen here that has a bunch of information. The main is right here where you can either drag your audio file or choose a file to upload. That's what I'm gonna to use today. But I also wanna just point out a couple more things. So on the right here, you'll, say, you'll see, depending on your plan, how many hours and minutes you have left in your cycle before you need to either upgrade or you run out of time in that allowance. So I still have two hours and 46 minutes left. If you're reaching your limit, you'll see they provide a convenient button right here to upgrade your account. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's upload the file right now. So. I'm going to click choose a file to upload. I recommend that you keep your episodes in separate uh, folders so you can stay organized. Um, in the beginning, the first couple of shows, it may not seem that you need to, but in time, you will get more and more episodes and it will become important. So this just so happens to be my 20th episode. And I have two folders in here. One is my file that I recorded from GarageBand and it has an mp3 in there but i also have another folder that's labeled alphonic alphonic is a free service that allows me to level out some of the audio from the file so this file here is the one that i'm going to go ahead and upload you would upload your episode from wherever you store it on your computer so once i click on that we immediately get to this screen and it shows that it's uploading going through the process how quick this happens depends obviously on the speed of your machine, how long your episode is. So once the audio file has been uploaded, it is not live yet. It is not out there for everyone. We're gonna get to that in, in a second. But you can go ahead in here and go ahead and put your episode title. So I'm gonna go ahead and type mine in now. Okay, once you have a good title that clearly explains your episode, then you wanna come down here in the episode description. So I highly recommend, just like doing the other descriptions that you, you do when creating your um, Buzzsprout account, to make sure that people can understand what the episode is quite quickly within the first uh, sentence, if possible, if not the first two. And then you can go into further detail as far as what's going on with your podcast and what you're going to be talking about. This is important, particularly for people who are scrolling and are looking for different topics. They may be uh, on their phone, so if they can quickly um, ascertain what your podcast is about, the more likely they are to possibly engage with your podcast. So we can go ahead, I'm gonna create an episode on description here. Okay, once you get a good description in there, this is a good place to maybe put some links to the uh, episode or maybe to your guest or maybe to the website that you talk about or just any other type of information that people may find valuable. It's also a good place to put your email address in case people wanna contact you, whether they have questions about the show, maybe they wanna be a guest on a future show or uh, you know, comments uh, about what you spoke about. Okay, so once you have your description in, then below that, you're gonna have an option to put in artwork. Now, this is the default artwork that I use, and this is the same artwork for the podcast. 
However, some people do custom artwork for each individual show. It's totally up to you. It's a, per it's a preference that you can choose. But here's your option to go ahead and upload that if you have custom artwork specific for that episode. This would be different than the artwork for your podcast in general. Okay. Then below that we have a couple of uh, different options here for a season episode and the episode type. So I'm going to go ahead and fill mine in. I'm on episode 20. But if you're doing seasons, you would want to put that here. And if it's a partial uh, trailer or bonus type of episode, you can select that here as well. It just depends on how you want to organize your show. But this is what the process is in order to upload. Okay. Now right below that, it's asking, does this episode have any explicit content? Mine does not. Now right here is the option uh, for more options if you want to edit that, edit that or not. I recommend you do. So let's click on that. So artist guest. So this might be you, your guest name. If you have multiple guests, you would want to put them in here. You can put a summary in here that will show up in some apps. If you're doing a custom web page that you want to link to for just that show. So I do blog posts for each one of my shows. So I could go ahead and put that in there that would link directly to the show, but I don't. I prefer to direct people to my general website. Below that is tags. You definitely want to use tags so that people can find you a lot easier. So this does allow for some preset tags to pull up and that's what I use. And then I add some that are a little bit more specific to the episode that I'm recording and sharing. Okay, so once you have all that information loaded in, you're gonna wanna go ahead and save the episode details, okay? Now that's gonna take you back to your main list of all your episodes, and you'll notice that this episode is not live. So let's go ahead and click on it and go back into it, and you'll see that it is not live. And you will need to publish it in order for the episode to actually be live, which would mean people could see it in their iTunes or Spotify or Stitcher podcast libraries, and then they could then listen to it. Now for my podcast, I send them out on a regular schedule of Mondays. So I'm gonna show you now how to schedule it to go out at a certain date and time. So again, if you wanna publish it right away, you can just click publish. Otherwise, you would come right here to this edit button, and it pulls up a little calendar so you can pick the date and change the time that you want to use. So I'm scheduling this to go out next Monday. That would be the 13th. I like to send it out at 1 a.m. Hawaii time. Hawaii is where I'm at. 1 a.m. is important because the majority of my listeners are in areas that 1 a.m. in Hawaii, it's when they're getting up. So that works out. And then I'll click the schedule button. So my episode is now scheduled to go out on April 13th at that, at that time. I don't have to click anything. I don't need to do anything. It'll automatically go out at that time. Okay, other than that, there's nothing else that you need to do in order to upload an episode or to schedule it for a certain date and time to go off. Any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and also click on that bell so when new tutorials come out on Buzzsprout or any of the other platforms that we work on, you'll get a no notification. Thanks for watching.